The word of the Lord today is obey God. Obey God. All I hear the Lord saying is obey him. Obedience is better than sacrifice. God is saying he's not impressed by how much scripture you're reading. He's not impressed by how much you're praying. He's looking at your heart. Are you obeying him? Are you doing what he says to do? You see, a lot of times people, they operate in, they do what they want to do. They read their Bible when they want to read it and not maybe when the Lord is putting it in their spirit to do it. They pray when they want to. They pray for who they want to pray for. And God is saying, it's not being accepted. God wants your full obedience. And there's a lot that's doing their walk with Christ at their own little march, at their own little pace and their way. And one of the things God is saying that there's so many people that's walking around and you have all types of stuff in your heart against other people. You <laughs> are compartmentalized. God wants your obedience. Yes, God wants you to study his word, but he wants you to also obey his voice. Yes, God wants you to pray and seek his face, but he also wants you to obey his voice. God wants you to do things for the community and within your ministry, that's great. But he wants you to obey his voice. What is it that the Lord is telling you to do that you're just refusing to do it? What is it that the Lord has been speaking to your spirit that you have been delaying and ignoring it? My brothers and sisters, you can't make deals with God. God is saying you cannot make deals with him. You must obey him. You know, I was watching something today. I was watching a video by Pastor Albert Amara and something that he said, and he was talking about the president and um, saying if he was drowning and you were the only one out there, is like say he fell into some water and he was drowning and you had a life, a life raft or a lifesaver, would you throw it to him? And my brothers and sisters, <laughs> there are many of you that would not, you didn't even think twice what you would say. Or some of you, oh, I have to think about it, maybe. But what the thing is, there are a lot of people who say that they're believers that you absolutely hate the president, right? That's not right. Okay, regardless of who he is, what he represents, how he speaks, how he talks, what does the Bible say that our approach should be about people that we, how, what should our light not shine? How are we supposed to be to the unsaved, to the lost, those who are in darkness, right? Now, I'm sure there's someone that will be able to find scripture to counter that for why you should be evil to this individual, but my video is not to go into that, but to show how in areas people will walk in ways that's contrary and respond to people in ways that's contrary to God's word based on how they feel. They don't look to say this person needs prayer. They don't look to say, look, even though I don't agree with this person, listen, the Lord gave them life. So let me pray. I don't agree with him, her, them. It's just a feeling, a hot, hateful feeling or a great dislike. And so these are the things that was an example that I used to some of you may say that's a poor example because that's how much you dislike the president. Um, but those are one of the examples that the Lord is talking about as far as how we respond to people when they rub us or they come off or their position is one that really it's against what we believe it's offensive how are we responding these are the things that the lord is looking at and it's not necessarily just the president we're talking about just your everyday average joe on the street how are you treating people god is saying he wants complete obedience from his people. He wants complete obedience 
from his children, from those who say that they are followers of God. God is saying there are things that he has laid on your heart that you need to do, relationships that you needed to make right, people that you need to forgive, offenses that you need to let go of, phone calls that you need to make, and you're not doing it. But guess what? You're about to go in and do an hour's worth of worship. God is saying he's looking at your obedience. There are many of you, you say, Lord, forgive me. Right as you get ready to go, do something wrong. But I'll make it up, Lord. Tomorrow I'm going to put in at least 30 minutes to an hour of praise and worship. It's not going to work like that. God is saying he's calling his children to obedience. Obedience. Unforgiveness is a really big thing. And one of the things that he showed me is that there's some believers who you will malice someone up to death. Up to death. And God is saying, it is an awful thing to have held unforgiveness against someone, even to the point of them dying. And God is saying there's some of you that you attend funerals just to look at the dead. And you say things over their body. The bottom line is you're glad that they're dead. And God is saying you open yourself to a curse and instant demonic possession when you do those things. You are cursed. And you open up yourself to a demon. The minute you stand over a dead body to say and utter out of your mouth and within your heart evil things. To look at them dead and take pleasure and you are inside. You are overjoyed that they died. And you say, thank God the Lord got rid of you. God is saying, not so. God wants your obedience. Do not allow yourself to be taken so far into unforgiveness. Do not allow yourself to be taken so far into being comfortable with disobeying God that somewhere in that crooked path and that turn, you feel that you're still walking in the things of God. God says, if you are disobeying me, you are not with me. If you practice habitual sin, you will hear, as in Matthew 7, 21 and 22, it says, 22 says, Depart from me, thou worker of lawlessness. I never knew you. You know what that means? You could be doing, you know what they said? Lord, Lord, didn't we prophesy? Didn't we do great miracles in your name? Didn't we do this in your name? And he says, Depart from me. Thou worker of lawlessness, I never knew you. I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice, practice lawlessness. So I'm here to tell you that if you're not obeying the Lord, if you're not doing the things that he's told you to do, that's where you're at. You don't know God. You don't know the Lord. If you are practicing lawlessness, practicing sin, practicing all types of stuff, but you're still doing godly things, God says, in me, there is in me, there is light and there is no darkness at all. Whoever say that they walk with me, this is John speaking. Whoever says that they walk with God, they know him and they walk in darkness. They lie. There's no unclean thing that shall enter the kingdom of God. So my brothers and sisters, this is where you can get things right. Stop trying to fix yourself and just go to the Lord with a, with your heart in a posture to receive and to repent. You cannot fix spiritual things by earthly means and earthly efforts. You just have to show up for class. You just have to get in the place where God can do his perfect work in you and change you. But I hear the Lord saying there are many of you that's on the road to darkness. And if you were to die, you would not be in his presence because you are doing works, but you are not obeying. You are doing sacrifice, but you're not walking in obedience. Please change, my brothers and sisters, while you have a chance to do so.
the Lord will gladly welcome you. Repent, turn around, and let him do his perfect work in you.